Holy freaking smokes. Welcome back to Trailer Park Garage. Uh, man, this is super badass. This is uh, my old white truck. The OG milk truck. Um, you know, the truck that I drove to high school. Uh, you know, had a bunch of different motors in it. We had a blast, ran around town, cruised with my homies seven nights a week. Uh, worked every day to pay for it. Man, you know, built it in the garage, me and my pops working on it, me and Sam working on it, me and, you know, all kinds of people. Sonny D, I can think of a thousand people that uh, had a part to play in this truck when we first put it together. Uh, but me, being the 15, 16 year old kid that I was, uh, the plumbing, the wiring, just, a lot of it was very crude. So, this is a, a new series of the OG. We're gonna be tearing this thing down. We're gonna be cleaning it up. We're gonna be doing some body work. We're gonna be painting on it. We're gonna be doing some engine assembly and uh, building. We're gonna be doing all kinds of shit. For years, I have wanted to turn this truck into, into what I've always envisioned it being. Uh, you know, in the past, we were on the Street Outlaw show with it. It was kind of my claim to fame, I guess you could say. It's what put my name on the map a little bit. And it was a slow, ran 650, 640s, small block, you know, 28 inch tire truck that we pissed everybody off with. And it was mainly because of my mouth at the time. I was a young, ignorant kid and man, we just loved running them hot rods. And it was uh, sometimes hard to get a lock and sometimes we wanted to uh, sit with people like us. So. We were always working our angles, you know, pissing people off, doing things weird, and it made it more fun for me. I've grown up just a tad, and I have stopped a little bit of that Facebook shit talking and all of that stuff that we enjoyed to do, and we backed with this truck. Uh, I remember my first wheelie was in this truck, you know, first nine, eight, seven, six second pass in this truck. First trans brake launch. I mean, everything was my first in this truck. Uh, I can't say enough about it. You know, I developed my love for hot riding in this truck, and uh, it's it's a very sentimental, uh, special piece to me. So, with that being said, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you all day. I'm sure that we might do a segment where I go over some big history of the truck, and if you're interested in that, leave us a comment, and we might make a. Uh, a video with that, maybe do a Q&A section along with it towards the truck. You got a question about the truck, stuff like that, you know, we can answer some questions. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to bore you to death talking. We're going to get to work on this thing. I hope you enjoy these videos that are coming up because man, I have worked on this thing all week and I've done it by myself with a smile on my face and it's, it's pretty badass to have my old pickup truck back and me actually working on it. Uh, so, without further ado, here is the first episode of the OG's Return, baby. Come on! spot I fixed I fixed 
Ja. Nein. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm just sitting here talking. Check it out. That OG. Putting it on the trailer. So we're at Kodak's crib right now. And look, everybody's gonna be like, well, where the hell's Kodak? He's in Illinois. But we'll holler at him here soon. He's not dead, everybody. He's not dead. But I'm about to get back to work on that OG. I'm super excited. And yeah. I'm so excited. So freaking excited. Check it out. We got that OG on the trailer, the real milk truck. And man, I have neglected it and let it sit. Man, we had it parked at Kodak for probably almost a year. Before that, it sat at our house for a year, maybe. I mean, I, I just ain't had the money. Whole milk took over my whole entire life, but I've got to bring this thing back. Drove it all through high school. It was my first truck, um, actually my first vehicle period. And it's just, man, it's such a sentimental piece and we are about to slam and get busy on it. So, we got a small block we're gonna throw together for it just like we did in the OG days. I know we were gonna do the LS Turbo deal for a little while, but we were quick to change that. Um, but we've got the truck back in our possession. It's going to the TPG and I am so pumped up to work on this thing. I will probably not go to sleep tonight because I am so freaking excited. I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'll probably just look at it, sit in it, and be like, make noises and bang on the shifter. and Yeah. So, coming home, we're going to work on it so freaking hard. Be ready for the next couple of weeks because you probably won't see whole milk for a year. No, I'm just kidding. Truck we got Frickin' OG back at the TPG, baby. That's right. So, what we're gonna do is hook up and go get it washed up, power washed with some hot water underneath on the top all over. Get this uh, tape off. Um, and we got a couple of things that we've gotta fix first. So, this dent being one of them. I don't know how it got there, but we're gonna have to fix that shit because it's a pretty freaking good one. And it that sucks bad. Um, we got a couple of spots. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, yeah, bingo. This was from our trip to Wyoming for the Fastest in America deal. Uh, put it in the trailer, had it rubbing up against some bottle brackets. That deal sucks. We're gonna have to fix that. Same deal here. Bottle brackets. Um, and for body work, we might have something on the roof. I thought we did. It might have to be in the. Oh, I think I just caught a glimpse. 
yeah there's something over here that is just a small dent that we will have to fix also so my biggest priority is doing the body work and getting it fixed first the suspension parts underneath probably all look like shit so we're gonna have to take them off paint them get everything looking back nice and snazz that way when we go to put the motor in everything's gonna look good and we don't get no paint on the motor and all that dumb shit all right so i don't know what the hell was going on there but uh brightness was all janky anyways we have to do some body work on this thing and um clean it up get all the suspension parts painted looking good that way we can get back to rocking and rolling on this thing uh we got to put a motor together for it and i was telling you last night we got small block a little 418 uh the dirt track motor from years ago gary gave it to us and man we drove that thing around on the street for a little bit but i got different camshaft heads intake carburetor deal i'm wanting to do with it uh might even tear the bottom end apart put some h-beam rods in it because it's got some high beams in it uh, i just don't know how i feel about that uh especially because i'm going to want to be throwing that kittage to it but right now like i said we're gonna hook up to it we're gonna take it to henderson we're gonna put it on the rack power wash it and get it looking nice yeah baby come on holy smokes Going back to trailer park garage, baby. Well, not really, but we're out here with Pops. Look at this guy. What's up? He, uh, been out here helping me. Yeah, it's just... But I spent two hours out in the rain today oh, yeah. Yeah. power washing the truck, getting some tape off of it, the blue tape, and then got dried up, changed clothes, power washed the bottom side of it, got all soaked again, so. We have the milk truck, the OG, up on the lift. Look at this thing. Cleaned up. Oh, man. Look at all this outdated technology. That's right, full frame. Man, that thing was black. I forgot that I had an aluminum bolt through in it. But, uh, oh, man, I forgot the side of the shock. Damn. But we got a little more cleaning to do. Lay springs and slapper bars, baby. That's right. But big day. We got the whole thing clean. Now we can start working on it, getting everything tore apart, and putting it back together. Right now, we're gonna run to Evansville and work on a carburetor for Chris. And yeah, but awesome, successful day on the OG. I didn't film nothing, but uh, it was raining all day. I can't set my camera up in the rain, and it's all dirty, nasty work. I'm soaked and i took a lot of time doing it so i'm gonna hop off here we'll run to evansville real quick work on some carburetors hopefully i might stop by the walmart pick up a t-shirt some socks and shit i'd be soaked man it's terrible but we're working on that og love it love it love it tomorrow we plan on coming back i'm gonna bring all my tools and uh we're gonna start tearing this thing apart getting it everything getting everything ready for paint and yeah body work all kinds of shit but right now oh man i'm just so freaking pumped up love my old pickup truck but yeah we're out of here for now see you here in a few come on all right check it out we are at uh purcell and henderson again uh last night me chad michael was all messing with the uh the carburetor on monte carlo got to come up on a break Got a little leaned up. It was fattening up them plugs it out a little bit. So we've got that deal all figured out. Uh, them, them squirter nozzles came in clutch. Changed those out. And I learned something last night too. And it's something that makes a big difference, but I really never thought about it. Uh, the nozzle difference on the end of the squirters, you know, some of the custom deals like what they had on it it was ground off and it just had holes um some of them got the tube that stick out of it some of it got that casting that sticks out of it and the tube make huge differences in how it atomizes the fuel or pours the fuel whatever but 
we all figured it out. It was pretty badass. So got the Monte Carlo, that deal coming up on the break. But we're back up for sale to work on OG. Um, I cleaned it up yesterday, got soaking wet, freaking sucked. But now we're gonna start tearing some shit apart and getting it to where we can kind of see what we need to do. Rock and roll on it. Um, I might even pull the third member out. I discovered last night when I was cleaning it, I forgot all about that it had a strange aluminum bolt through. Um, I put that deal in there. It really doesn't need it, but it was a heavy ass truck and that's what, what I put in it because I blew that shit up on TV one time, pulled a penny support out of it. You remember that? Um, but yeah, so we're going to work on it, pull some shit apart and kind of see what we need to do, what we need to work on, uh, all kinds of shit. We're pretty much starting over with the whole build, but that's what we got going on. Let's get to work. Holy freaking smokes, damn, it's bright. Stepped outside, got out of the shop. We've been working on that, that OG all day. Got all the wiring tore out of it, all the plumbing. We got like the fuel pump wiring in it and shit, but uh, besides that, we've got like everything tore out of this thing. Drive shaft, exhaust. Um, so I'm gonna take y'all in here, let y'all check it out, and then we bounce it, come on. Oh man, look at this clunker. So, I've got the grill and the headlight assembly, everything tore out. We just did a final cleanup. Look at how nasty this thing is. All the paint flaking and shit. Knocked all the grease off of this thing. Shoo, it's about two inches thick. Oh, nasty sucker. But we got everything cleaned up. We about to throw some paint on this dude. Let it, well, let it dry, uh, scotch brought it, throw some paint on it, and yeah, get the front side looking nice, that way we can assemble everything. So my top piece of trim here, let's see if I can find it, show you guys. My top piece of trim here, got a little beat up, banged up, uh, right down here. Oh guy. Oh guy, look at this, what do you want to tell him? Any piece of advice for the younger group? Stay in school. Stay in school. That's right. Yeah. Travis Bratcher, world famous. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Go get this piece of trim all, all tore up a little bit. I gotta fix it up. My sides are pristine, and so is the bottom. Gotta get an emblem for the front, but the, the grill. Oh man, me and Dad had to do some work on that a while back. It's looking good. Our headlights are fine. Um, I would, I am going to get some uh, bottoms because these are, there's nothing wrong with them. And that's not as bad. But uh, yeah, look at that. Oh, prickly, crackly piece of shit. Our uh, bezels looking good. Uh, windshield wiper motor, I'm going to repaint it. We've got the, the fuel cell all cleaned up. Jeez, it was nasty, boy. Uh, but it's all cleaned up. We've got our motor mounts cleaned up. We'll throw some paint on them. Drive shaft all cleaned up, looking good. So yeah, we got this blank. And they done robbed my truck. I don't know what in the world's going on there. But hell yeah, get it fixed up. But uh, yeah, we about to, man, we've just been working on this thing. So, like I said, 
we'll scotch bright it, let it dry and shit, and throw some paint on it. Man, I'm excited to see it, you know, looking good. Uh, we're gonna have to tape it up too. But uh, yeah, man, super excited to be working on my old freaking pickup truck. So we'll do that, probably be done for the day. Huge shout out to freaking Purcell Tire and Pops. Man, you know, I've had it on the lift. I've been able to get to things that, you know, at the house I normally wouldn't get to. And you could definitely tell I was 15, 16 years old when I built this truck. Um, the plumbing, the wiring, oh, oh my God, how dirty, nasty it was. Um, I always had an oil leak transmission leak, but uh, we're getting it fixed up and uh, it's gonna be a nice little hot rod when we get it done. And man, I'm just so freaking excited. Come on, go work on your hot rod. Uh, Pop's got a new bike. Is that the one you've been fine. fixing up? Huh? Is that the one you've been fixing up? No, it's not right. This is Travis. Swing? Yeah. Did you see back the one up? Huh. Yeah. 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 See mine out front? Is that a, like an old one? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a nice one. one. It's a collegiate. He's got gearage. It's a what? Did you say a collegiate? I think that's right, yeah. Man. Where'd you go to high school? I don't know. What is it? What? I went to OHS. OHS, baby. Nothing. I went to OHS too. That's right. <laughs> oh, no, let's check out Dad's hot run. Look at that. Got on the Sahara, broke the pedals. That's right, horsepower. <laughs> that's your bike? No, that's his. Oh, it's yours. You ride a twin? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Pops is famous. He gets all the ladies. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at this thing. So we have uh, been hitting on it with that Scotch Bright. See it all scuffed up. We've got everything hit and man it's still a nasty mess paint chipping all over but tomorrow we will uh, start spraying but i know this video is deep as hell and saturday so i'm gonna go ahead and put the video together that way i can slam it out tomorrow and you can see the return of the og we've been working on it i've been cleaning on it for five days tearing it apart pulling the wiring pulling the plumbing uh all of that shit and it's probably going to be a long process. I'm taking my time on it. And when I bring it out, I want it to be pristine. So I'm doing it my way. And I'm doing it the better way than when I first did it. Whew. It was pretty crude. But um, I want to, you know, I want to go have fun with my homies and, and cruise around like we used to and be able to blow that tire off, setting off police scanners and having a good time. So. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy the return of the OG. Um, I'm very, very excited as you can tell. So, that's it for this week. Go work on your freaking hot rod. Come on. <laughs>